이게 더 나은가? Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope my audio is fine, or is it a bit? Ganon, we'll see. Wait. Anyway, we'll we'll keep this mic thing. Um, for today's video, um, I will be telling you guys how I study Korean as a high intermediate. So I did a video on how I learned Korean. That was way back. Oh my god, like that was like a few months ago where my acne was bad. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna like recommend it to you now. But anyway, for today's video, since a lot of people are still asking, you know, how do you learn Korean? Ganun ganun, how do you study Korean? I actually prepared some stuff that um, I use to uh, learn Korean now in the present time, okay? Um, I'm not a beginner anymore. I'm a an high intermediate. Not really high intermediate. Maybe intermediate. Hindi naman ako ganun kamagaling mag-Korean, di ba? Marunong na ako mag-Korean. Ganun lang, guys. Huwag naman kayong gravel with the expectations sa sakakay. Like, nakaka-pressure naman kayo. So yeah, hindi po ako ganun kamagaling mag-Korean. Marunong lang po ako mag-Korean. A lot of people are curious how often do I study Korean. I study Korean kung gusto ko lang. And kung... Like, if I'm, what do you call that? If I'm free, maybe, if my time lang ho. That's like twice a month, baby. Wow. Diba? But anyway, so first, okay, first thing that I usually do, this is the thing that I usually do um, when I study Korean. Now, as an inter high intermediate, not really high intermediate, but kapal naman ang mukha mo. Um, intermediate. But anyway, um, I want to recommend this uh, YouTube channel that I found. Um, dito sa YouTube, of course. The first thing that I do to study Korean as an intermediate, not high intermediate, okay? Let's lower it down to intermediate. I take these lectures from Prof. Yoon's Korean language class. What he does in his lectures is that he... Actually, ito, lesson 1 pa nga ako, di ba? Episode 4. I'm not really... I'm thousand. Like, continue, continue yung pag-study ko. Hindi ako ganun kasi I don't have the time, you know? I don't have all the time here. What he does is he has these, um, for example, dito sa episode 1. Okay, so what he does in his um, lectures is he has these, um, like, stories maybe? Binabasa niya yun and then he breaks down the sentences. So, for example, here, there's a conversation here. So, the song singing says, 여러분들 한국 생활 재밌었어요? 한국에 있는 동안 한국에 대해서 느꼈던 점들을 좀 얘기해 주세요. 니도 then you can learn um like new vocabularies. Since he breaks down the sentences, he will also give you like the vocabularies or the unfamiliar words for you. 예를 들어서 이렇게. 여러분들 한국 생활 재미있었어요? 여러분 그러면은 뭐 you guys 이런 거죠. 그 second person pronoun plural form 그래요. 근데 들 if you add 들 그러면 it emphasizes that uh, 뭐 there are 뭐 many people you guys 그렇고요. 그냥 simply 여러분 that's fine too. 여러분 뭐 여러분들 한국 생활. 야 그는 샤 콩글리 샤. He teaches in Konglish. So what I do is 파이 나만 힌디 라 하고 나키키 낸데 봐. I get my notebook. Sana ba yung notebook? Bruh. Okay, so what I do is first I copy the 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 lectures or the things that he flashes on the screen. Kinakopy ko siya. Why? Diba you, you may think takala sa manong oras kinokopy mo pa. The reason why I copy it is is so that I can practice my um my handwriting. You can practice your handwriting. So here wow. everything is full with all the lectures or all the um yeah, all his lectures, and then sinusulat ko yung mga vocab sa finance flash the screen. Also, another thing that I do is I read everything. So before he reads it, ako muna. So yeah, that's that. Prof. Yoon's Korean language class. I'm taking his high intermediate. I think he has other classes as well. He also does um some live sessions, but usually hindi hindi ko yun na I can't attend them because it's either I'm doing something else. Next is to watch K dramas with Korean subtitles. Uh, bonga. So a lot of people are asking actually if do I still watch um, Korean dramas with subtitles? Yes, I still do, I still still huh? Yes, I still watch Korean dramas with English subtitles. Pero minsan, minsan, minsan I switch it to Korean subtitles. So that's also one thing that I can recommend to you because you're reading kasi. So yeah, I watch Korean dramas sometimes with Korean subtitles if I'm bored. Like, oh my god, I want to like switch it up. So I switch it to Korean 
um, subtitles. Pero of course, may times din na hindi ko talaga naiintindihan. Lalo na pag news or mga laws, laws or mga medical um, terms that you ginagamit nila in Korean. So of course, I switched it back to English kasi those bleed si ate girl, no? Yeah. Usually, I watch Korean dramas sa Netflix. Time, not all the time though, pero um, both of the times sa, sa Netflix, um, my Korean subtitles. So for example, I'm watching um, because this is my first life. For example, I go here, subtitles. Oh, this one doesn't have subtitles. So for example, dito. And then I switch the subtitles to Korean. So, yun. Actually, it helps a lot. Maybe you think that it doesn't help. But it helps a lot kasi binabasa mo kasi siya. And then, um, there are a lot of new words that you can learn too. Oh, you can say something about it. Can you say something about it? I don't have any money. I don't have so yeah, anyway, go watch some Korean contents with Korean subtitles. It helps a lot. Okay, next. Next is very common to us. Sing along to Korean songs. Now, when I say sing along to Korean songs, I'm not saying that na 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 hindi ganun best. You read the, you read the subtitles. Read the lyrics, okay? So I, I also said that in my other video, what I learned, how I learned Korean. Wag mo na panoorin yun, dito ka na makinig. As an intermediate learner. I usually go to Spotify. You don't take a tail to one and do it. What's after life? So I go here, I read the lyrics. Also, one thing I do often is I go to YouTube and then I search PJ Karao. It's uh, basically a Korean karaoke with Korean lyrics. Could y'all got to nagayo? Nan amo gusto high school up so y'all. Bruh. No, I don't go in the mountain on his own. So yeah, go sing Korean songs. Next, of course, talk to yourself naman. Okay, this might be embarrassing, but I, I talk to myself in Korean. To practice, to practice Korean, of course. Hello, hello, like. I know that you're pretending sa, maybe sa bathroom or inside your room na nag interview ka. Do that interview in Korean. Wow. But yeah, um, I think, I really do think that it helps. Like talking to yourself in Korean. And also think in Korean. Like the owner buhati, tade buhati. Yeah, if you're mad, like talk to yourself in Korean. Like seriously, if you're mad, usually dun lumalabas lahat eh. So if you're mad, be mad in Korean. Like mag rant ka in Korean ganun. Like laka ka help yun. Like a wole nin, punta su yegi harte nin. Bar do mu tara go. Barin kesok na oyo. Kunde tega, kamera peso yegi hamyo nin, bari ad na oyo. Yeah, talk to yourself in Korean. Might sound crazy, but it helps. So next is um speaking of talking to yourself, um I have these uh books from Sue and Carrot. They sent me these um last year, I guess. Um if if you if you haven't seen my video on that, I'm pangat kanon. So I can't say that you should not watch. Also, you can use my code, my gift for a two USD discount. But yeah, I'm here in ano kasi, in their book, in their book, in their book. They have questions essay questions. So for example, dito sa pinakalikuran. So for example, dito sa question number 2, kasang hingbok kan kiyogi buoyo. So it means that what was your um, happiest memory or ganun. So you answer those questions in Korean. Or also you can just look up some simple questions in um, in Google maybe and then you answer those questions in Korean. Like, how's life these days? You answer in Korean. For example, let's answer another question here so that ma-motivate ka, di ba? Yorobunege wambyok kan nariran buoyo. Sega haru jongil te chimde. Do do man is it? So yeah, you answer those kinds of questions. Talk to yourself, you know? Lastly is to talk to people. Um I use if you don't know or if you already know, I use this app called Lingbi to talk to people. So yeah, go talk to people. Um though it it will be very nerve wracking to talk to people. Well, <laughs> It will be very nerve-wracking to talk to people. I still get nervous when I, I talk to native Korean people. Especially for native Korean people. Okay, okay lang yung mga practice sessions. But, you know, when I talk to Korean people, parang, Uy, ba? Like, I don't want to offend you. Ganun, ganun. Um, the app that I'm using is Lingbi. There are also other apps as well, like Hello Talk or Hi Native. Ganun, ganun. 
So for me, the 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 you know the app that suits me well is Lingby. So the Hello Talk, Hello Talk, what's the name? I I I don't know. I'll just insert a picture here. But more on texting, kasi yun. So like, parang it's very it's very hard, kasi for me to like you know approach someone and text like. So Lingby is a perfect app for me, kasi it generates random call. So yeah, that's what I usually do uh, these days when I study Korean. Usually, the most common things I do is I watch Korean dramas or Korean dramas with subtitles, with Korean subtitles. Also, since I'm working on my Korean lesson too, then so it really like refreshes my mind on the rules and stuff about uh, the beginner grammar. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's all I do to study Korean these days. It's okay if you're if you don't study every day. Just make sure that you don't stop studying studying Korean. Just don't stop, talaga. If you're busy right now, don't force yourself. Just you know, chill for a while, um, pause for a while, but don't stop. Like get back to learning Korean, agad agad. So yeah, um, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope this video helped you a lot. Also, if you're interested in my Korean lessons, contact me through this email. But yeah, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and see you guys on my next video. Bye. My audio ba? Oh my god, please. Sana may audio wait lang.